this is, I think, uh, a big a big challenge. And, and in fact, treatment at relapse it, it, in some ways is even more challenging than treatment initiation at newly diagnosed stage, um, particularly because in just in general, the data um, are, are, are less evident um, at relapse. It's harder to study these patients. Um, and for older patients, especially, uh, we've had several, unfortunately, relapses occur in our clinic recently, but th these patients have been treated for 10, 20 years even. And I think the the prolonged survival now we're seeing in myeloma uh, is a, a good problem to have because now people are recurring or having uh, sort of toxicity much much later on in their treatment courses. Um, but for older adults in general, I would say the principle that we use until we get more sort of evidence on like which lines of treatment um, to use is that quality of life and, and trying to focus on that um, becomes more and more important uh, well, well into their myeloma course than say absolute prolongation of survival. Um, and, and the other thing to consider with older patients is that um, competing risk of death, uh, again, looking at someone's frailty and other aging related contributors of frailty, those get worse <laughs> as with age, independently of the myeloma. They could even be exacerbated by myeloma and myeloma's treatment, things like dementia, heart failure, um, diabetes and related complications. Um, th those all become more advanced with age. Uh, so considering which myeloma treatments to use, taking into account one, uh, the shifting focus perhaps on quality of life or maximizing survival at any cost, uh, which in younger patients, uh, uh, you know, will often make a lot of sense. But also thinking of a veteran, regardless of their myeloma and how aggressively you treat it, um, at relapse, they may have other conditions that are actually more a threat to their survival sometimes than the myeloma itself. And we talk about sequencing or oncologists in myeloma talk about the correct sequence of therapies. Um, I would all, always advocate uh, with the oncologist to use the, the safest, most tar tolerable, but mo the most effective therapy that would be recommended in a younger patient. Um, unless we thought that the older patient uh, had different values or different preferences that um, we're shifting that. And that's an area of study. We, it would be interesting to look at more intensive versus less intensive regimens and older frail patients at relapse as well. Um, because, uh, this again was at initiation or newly diagnosed, uh, 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 uh population. And I think it was somewhat surprising that, you know, for veterans who are frail, um, or patients who are frail in general, those who value a survival benefit and want the, you know, the regimen that will give them the survival benefit, a triplet rather than a doublet, not vice versa, is actually what's going to best achieve that goal. Um, but at relapse, it could be different. So we have to study that as well. Thank you for uh, highlighting our work and allowing us to share uh, some uh, findings that I hope will help inform. Uh, treatment of, of this challenging population. And I look forward to sharing these findings uh, in the session, Challenges in Multiple Myeloma, coming up at IMS next week.